Jesus! Hello guys, so this is Algodas with Quick Playing Tips and I'm gonna talk about the most boring thing that brass player or any other player could do in their practice session and that is scales and how to make it interesting, fun, challenging and very useful as a part of your daily routine. Scale, scale, scale. So that's something that probably you've heard from many tutors. You have to practice your scales. There's no other way around. It's an important part, you know, of uh, you as a player. It helps you to learn pieces quicker. That's absolutely true. As well as I've seen some top-notch players, and I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to get any sh from, you know, other players, but I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen some most renowned soloists in the world, you don't know their scales, you never practice their scales, you didn't practice their, you know, or don't know well their different clefs, and who are absolutely phenomenal pieces, and they're unbelievable at all the finger stuff, etc. So, whoever says, says that you have to do scales, I don't think that's true, because I've seen it in my own eyes that players with greatest technique, some of them don't know about scales, you know. So that being said, I'm a huge proponent of doing scales. I was somebody who was always practicing my scales and I'm pretty good at it and I still do it. I'm not going to say on a daily basis, just because I do a lot of the exercises which are um, going through all the keys anyways, but uh, I sometimes isolate scales. So that's probably three or four um, days out of week uh, when I do my scale exercises. So. During my stay in UK, I've learned this really, really cool method which helps you to get all the scales in a very, very quick amount of time and it's called crabs method, method so, um, or playing crab scales. So it's literally choosing your starting scale, going up and going down in a scale which is um, half a step higher or you can do it uh, in a reverse order, going downwards. And the same with arpeggios and all that good stuff. And once you get really, really good at it, playing for all the scales, or all the arpeggios, minor, major, dominant, diminished, augmented, you name it. It takes you 10, 15 minutes, depending on how good you are. So let me just show you what is a crap scale. We're gonna start on A major on the treble, uh, on the treble clef. <laughs> and so on. You can do the same thing with your minor skills as well. And you can do that. And you can do it with arpeggios as well. You can do tongued or slurred, depends what you're practicing. So. so this is a really, really cool and fast way to play through all the scales. The only problem, um, if you're not very good with scales to start with and you're a complete beginner with scales, um, obviously uh, this might you know, be a bit of a brainstorm to try and learn those. So the way I usually do it is by doing it super, super, super slow and just adding a couple of scales and gradually day by day you add one more scale. So let's say uh, you're practicing major scales. So start with learning the first scale. You can choose whichever you want. F major, F um, sharp major, whatever you want to do it. So start with F major, then uh, learn how to do F major all the way to the top and F sharp major all the way to the bottom. And uh, just that's the goal for first day. Second day, make sure that sequence is a little bit more comfortable. Third day, make sure you learn that two scale sequence um, 
with a reasonable tempo, so you can do it da, 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 and etc. You know, and then add another scale, another scale, another scale. You know, it's something which uh, I find that um, gets really, really better and much better if you do it on a daily basis. And um, your brain, especially after you get like a night's sleep, your brain just kind of tends to save the information. So next day you wake up and that pattern which uh, you were messing with your fingers, suddenly it's just there, your fingers are working. And um, uh, after that, you'll notice that whenever you see a piece and you recognize the scale, you recognize the sharp or flat fingering pattern, uh, the side reading becomes much better, uh, learning process becomes much faster. So, and it's uh, something, this is a very, very simple melody pattern. So playing scales, you can practice so many other things like tonguing, slurring. So it's the most simple melody you can find in the world scale. So I highly encourage everyone to practice scales and uh, try and uh, give a go for the crab metal. It's uh, crab met method, crab metal. give a go for a crab method. Um, it's something which is gonna motivate you to challenge yourself a little bit more, something uh, which is gonna create a little bit more interest, uh, something which is gonna save a little bit of time, and uh, is something that I definitely enjoy doing on a um, regular basis. So as always, uh, hopefully that was informative. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook page, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, if you liked this video and you want me to do more videos, uh, do me a huge favor by sharing this with your friends and giving a thumbs up for this video. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, work hard, keep motivated. Till the next time.